is a great place to visit this time of year. Beautiful fall foliage, but it's also full of stories dating back centuries. Many of these are spooky and there are plenty from Pine Hill Cemetery in Hollis. Pine Hill Cemetery is said to be one of the most haunted places in the region. The Blood family has a large plot in the cemetery and some people even refer to Pine Hill as Blood Cemetery, but the reasons are not just the name. For a long time, people have believed that the Blood family was actually murdered. After the burial of Abel Blood in 1867, his spirit is said to have stayed in the cemetery. While unsubstantiated, there have been reports of the finger on his headstone pointing down towards the ground rather than upwards as it is during the day. Visitors have reported hearing tapping noises coming from all around them, and others have seen flashes of light and cold areas even on warmer days. If you love history, you'll want to explore the cemetery during the day, but do be aware, you might just sense a spirit or two. Just from walking in to the cemetery here, me and Jenna are already hearing strange voices. Could be something off in the distance, we're not sure. Sounds like somebody yelling. Well, let's, let's go on. Now it's said that there are about roughly 300 people buried in the cemetery. Whoa. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Horror Roadside Show. Today- Whoa, 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 whoa. This is my job. Hold on. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Horror Roadside Show. Today, we're at Pine Hill Cemetery, also known as Blood Cemetery, a cemetery said to be haunted, and we're going to try to find out and see if there's any ghosts. That being said, let's get to it. Pine Hill Cemetery, aka Blood Cemetery, was built in the 1700s. And it is said that there are 300 people buried here. And due to vandalism, some graves are now unmarked. Now, one of the most prominent figures in the cemetery is of a man by the name of Abel Blood. And on his grave was engraved a finger pointing up. And through common lore, it is said that by nightfall, the finger turns and points down. It is rumored that Abel Blood was murdered, but in all actuality, he lived to be in his late 60s. And for the 1800s, that's a lifelong age. Some of the paranormal claims here are the feeling of anger, the feeling of being watched, and the smell of a cologne. So we're walking around, you know, just telling the story of Blood Cemetery, and we see these here. It looks to be like, maybe it was once a headstone? There's some markings on a few of them, like that one there. You can see some markings. And there's little bits and pieces around here, too. Right here's another one. Really strange. It looks like paint. Maybe somebody put up, you know, like a temporary marker for him. Could have been. I don't know. Strange. It's an absolute shame that, you know, people come to the ce any cemetery and deface and vandalize headstones. Like, for example, look at this one. It's held up by metal plates trying to salvage it 
and there's no excuse. Do not do that. That's not okay. I think because I had such luck at the Betty and Barney Hill Cemetery, I'm going to try to take out my digital voice record digital voice recorder I don't know where it is but I'll take up my digital voice recorder and we'll see if we can catch a voice so I have the digital recorder and let's see if we get anything Abel blood are you here with us I placed a little box on your headstone if you're here can you say can you give us a sign? What happened to you? Do you know what year it is? It's 2022. It's a shame that people defaced your grave and your headstone. We are so sorry that happened. We are not here for that. We are here to tell the story of your family and of this wonderful cemetery. We mean no harm. We're your friends. Is that your cologne that people can smell? Do you think we could smell it? Now we're going to review it and see if we got anything on the recorder. April Blood, are you here with us? I placed a little box on your headstone. If you're here, can you say, can you give us a sign? Is that your cologne that people can smell? So he said, yep. Yep. He I heard that too. Rewind that. Is that your cologne that people can smell? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to do it do one more time. Do you think we could smell it? Is that your cologne that people can smell? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Do you think we could smell it? Wow. We're your friends. Is that your cologne that people can smell? Yeah. Do you think we could smell it? So we'll stop that. That's cool. That was really cool. That was really cool. We should try one more. You want to do one more? Yeah. All right. So since we got the last EVP on here, it sounded like he said, yeah. We're going to try again and see if we can get another voice to validate the one that we heard prior. And we're live right now. It's recording. So we're going to place this down right here, back on your grave, Abel. Thank you for communicating with us. Well, we didn't catch anything that time. Let's take another little walk around and see what else there is. Dale and I are walking around, seeing the rest of the cemetery, and there's broken pieces of headstones here, and I'm sure there's more. Yeah, there are. There's lots of little pieces of headstones that are broken throughout here. Oh, it just makes me so upset. And it is cold out. <laughs> yeah, this might be a shorter video than normal. <laughs> um, we, like we've said before, we're in New England and it is below 30. We are for reason. So, I decided to not wear a jacket. I'm wearing a flannel, <laughs> Jenna. Okay, Dale. Jenna. Now, it is rumored that along this road right here, in the 1800s, supposedly there was a house and that the mother and father were murdered and the little boy, their kid, ran out in the middle of the street to try to flag down somebody for help. And it's rumored today that you can still see that little boy. But unfortunately, there are no records of that. There are no news clippings, no news articles, anything on that nature of that ever happening. So we don't know. It's just lore. So... You know, it's just one of those things you gotta chalk it up to the public and maybe somebody once saw a little boy and claimed, you know, made up a story. Who knows?
All right, guys, that's gonna conclude today's video. A little short one. Again, it's it's the weather was freezing out, and we just want to you know tell a little bit of the story of Blood Cemetery and why paranormal investigators like to come to this cemetery. Now we may have heard a voice coming into the cemetery sound like a man. We also may have caught something on our digital voice recorder, but it does seem very peaceful here. Yeah. Nightfall may be a different story. If you come here, please do not deface any of these graves. Don't do it to any cemetery. It's just wrong. You know, I'm sure you were raised better than that. So guys, that being said, next week we have a great video coming up. I can't wait. We're so excited. It's going to be awesome. So, um, we have merchandise and we have a Patreon. Links are in the description. And that being said, peace. Stay spooky. It is rumored that Abel Blood was... Nope. It is rumored that Abel Blood was murdered, but in all actuality, he lived to be in his... What's up, everybody? Today, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Horror Roadside Show. Today, we're at Pine something something something. Are you going to edit that out? Huh? <laughs>